It's me so much is that, you know, cancer affects everyone. And in a sense where, you know, it's either you have cancer, or you know someone has cancer, or you know someone who has a family member who has cancer. Um, the law of the Internet doesn't allow for these things to stay in the people's minds. You know, I remember last year there was the ice bucket ch challenge for a disease that really doesn't affect that many people. But when it does affect people, it's uh, devastating. But cancer is a, is a thing where it's just like everyone knows someone who has it. And I would personally, someone who has cancer myself, have stage for a cancer, I would rather people donate to, you know, individuals or groups of people with cancer rather than these Sergi Goldman like breast cancer awareness things. Because I have no idea what the fuck that means, like breast cancer awareness. Like, why do you need to donate to make someone aware of a disease? It makes no sense to me. So I, it upsets me also that, like, preservatives, which sugar is a big preservative, and also a it's a thing that feeds cancer this is not being instructed in textbooks for kids and like I said everyone knows someone with cancer so it, it just irritates me so much that things like slavery are being taken out of textbooks but the idea of preservatives that may may induce cancer that's just being bypassed completely all you're pretty much given is like a pyramid and you know, things start getting a little bit strange. You're starting throwing in things that are organic or things that your foods are not organic or claim to be organic, but they're not or gluten free. Like no one really can really that the pyramid idea of like, you know, your meat, your vegetables and how much servings you take, you know, given like if it's, you know, sugars or starches or blah, blah, blah. That's just it's very I don't know. It's just a little bit too. It's not refined enough. And so I'm not I'm not here to refine it, but just to give you an idea. And I, I want this video to go out to people who are like in their 40s and 50s who are cancer survivors. This is for you. This is not for someone who's scared to death of cancer, you know, like who doesn't have it. This is for people who have survived cancer, such as myself, and trying to live a life where they don't have to deal with this later on. Um, no guarantees. I'm not going to say, I'm not sending you any sort of mysticism, okay? There's no guarantees. I'm just trying to do my best to help out those who have survived cancer and trying to move on. So let's go into the supermarket, okay?